Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Last time we talked about email phishing, a scam in which scammers steal personal information through emails. Today my topic is farming and how farming works. Unlike phishing, farming doesn't rely on bait like fake links to trick users. Farming uses either DNS poisoning or domain hijacking to redirect users from the intended website to a fraudulent website. Thus, farming is also known as phishing without lure. With farming attacks, users are redirected to a, a farming site even they type in the correct URL. Once a user is redirected to a hacker's website, he is in the hands of bad guys. How does farming work? Farming can be done most often through one of the two methods. One, DNS poisoning. Two, domain hijacking. DNS poisoning or DNS cache poisoning or DNS spoofing is a type of attack at the domain name system, DNS. The goal is to divert users away from legitimate sites and towards fake ones, farming sites. As we know, the DNS server translates domain names to IP addresses. For example, when a client wants to go to sunnyclassroom.com, he needs to IP address of sunnyclassroom.com. He requests the IP address from DNS server, and the DNS server give him the IP address 18.8.8.8. For example, then he can go to the website sunnyclassroom.com. Here comes a bad guy. He compromised the DNS server by injecting a fake DNS entry. For example, he replaced the IP address 18.8.8.8 with his farming site IP address 14.4.4.4. I use this IP address as example because in Chinese, 14.4.4.4 sounds like to die, 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 and die. If you own this IP address, please forgive me for using it in a bad way. Next time, when a client issues request to the IP address of sunnyclassroom.com, the poisoned DNS server gave him a wrong IP address, sending the user to a farming site with IP address 14.4.4.4. DNS poisoning like this can also spread when various DNS servers are getting their DNS information from the compromised DNS server. It will then spread to the home routers and DNS caches on computers. Farming can be done through domain hijacking. The act of changing registration information on a domain register. Domain register is where we buy a domain name with all the primary DNS information. Changing the DNS registration information is not difficult when attackers gain login information from the domain register. They can get login information either by social engineering or by guessing passwords with brute force. When the hackers log into the sonicclassroom.com domain registration, he can make changes to the DS information. Next time when users request to go to the sonicclassroom.com, they are redirected to a farming site. Again, this compromised domain name through the domain hijacking would spread to other DNS servers and computers. How to recognize farming sites? 
We check URL carefully if we are suspicious about website. 1. Make sure the website is secure, HTTPS, not just HTTP, if the website has your accounts. 2. These fraudulent websites, farming sites, are the look like a legitimate ones to trick and misguide the victim. Does the URL look slightly different? Any misspelling? If so, you are on a farming site. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.